The city of London became the very first city in the world to restrict a certain area, specifically the central London, to a low emission vehicles only and 24 7 7 days a week. So essentially, if you're driving a car that's emitting more crap into the atmosphere and poisoning everybody above a certain low level that they set uh, for themselves, you will pay a hefty fine. Therefore, a lot of people will simply not be able to afford it or won't do it uh, in the first place. This is great news. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. There are a couple of drawbacks. There are other cities that are looking to join. And there are extra interesting caveats that come along with this. Uh, let me tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, that's perfectly okay. All you have to do is click on that subscribe button so you won't miss a single video moving forward and become a part of this amazing community. All right. City of London, huge props to the city and the mayor, Sadiq Khan, who is in the picture here. He tweeted out uh, basically that uh, the ultra-low uh, ultra emission zone it doesn't roll off the tongue, at least not mine, uh, uh, came into force today, cutting toxic emissions and making London's air safer for millions of adults and children. Now, I should mention that, you know, it's no joke that a lot of cities, a lot of major cities in the world, especially in China, but also in Europe, have so much pollution. And I remember, I grew up in Moscow in like 80s. Um, I remember me and my sister, you know, now that I think about it, like me and my sister, both had a lot of lung problems and a lot of uh, our friends also had lung problems and asthma problems because of all these diesel fumes that basically were just uh, filling up the city. And as you know, you've seen pictures of uh, the, uh, Beijing and Shanghai in some cases where you can't really see buildings uh, behind all the smog. A LA also, though that got a little bit better. It is a problem. People literally can see the poison in the air that they're breathing, and then they can see their kids and themselves having asthma and many other issues, um, all the way to cancer and death and, 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 and so forth. And it's no joke. Um, and now, little by little, the entire world is starting to respond to that. Um, this is great. I mean, there are quite a few other cities that are looking at the similar uh, situation and similar ways to handle it. Um, some cities already have something like that, but they restrict that to certain hours of certain uh, days, um, usually during the uh, work hours. But London was the first one and is the first one that just went ahead and said, listen, central London 24 seven, we're not having it. Now you can still drive a vehicle there uh, that emits more than, uh, I believe it's Euro four uh, standard, uh, but uh, you will be paying a, a fine. So hefty it looks like if you're especially there regularly, you just simply won't want to pay it. Um, so now this is good news. Uh, but there's also some caveats. Let me tell you about some of them. And uh, it's interesting that our friends at Pinin Farina uh, just did an interesting photo shoot in front of London. And I'll tell you why uh, that made a little bit more sense to me now. Before that, let me remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Accelerate Auto, the third party extended warranty for electric cars, including the Tesla Model 3, up to 125 miles in coverage, 125,000 miles in coverage, uh, only $100 deductibles. And you can grab yourself a discount code for $100 off. Check out their link in the description of this video. All right, so let's talk about something. Now, by the way, here's, um, here's the map of the... Um, uh, of uh, uh, London and you know this area is not small uh, the area that they're covering is definitely uh, uh, not small sorry I should have I should have prepared uh, no here it is um, it's pretty it's pretty large area and by the way by 2021 they're going to expand it even further so it is uh, it, it is not something they're just gonna say okay well this is this area and we're done obviously it's gonna expand and you know, hopefully one day uh, the entire planet will be covered by this uh, restriction low emissions zone. Uh, now, it, it's self-explanatory uh, why this is good. Um, and, uh, you know, as, as you know, Panin Farina, uh, they just unveiled the Batista. It is a $2 million car. Um, a lot of people obviously won't be able to afford it. But as I was talking to the CEO, Michael Piersky, uh, what is it, uh, in, in December in Los Angeles, you guys probably seen that interview, you know, he was explaining to me that um, this car will not only appeal to people who are collectors and people who, you know, basically want this car that go, you know, exotic, that goes a uh, zero to 60 or two seconds, they will also want this car because they can't drive their Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Bugattis anymore in zones like central London, and that's going to grow. The only exotic car, if you're a rich person, uh, that you would be able to drive in 
would be this one and remats obviously right so and after that you run out of options so this why this car becomes even more attractive even to those people who are really rich and unfortunately even they won't be able to drive the um their Ferrari's Lamborghinis now right now they're going to have to pay a fine and obviously if you're driving an expensive car maybe it's not that big of a deal uh, to you but trust me these laws are going to get really really restrictive and you just won't be able to drive um uh a car that emits uh, above a certain limit uh, at all. So this is just a beautiful beginning of an amazing future. And, you know, Punitfarina, and by the way, this is a picture that they took, like, uh, I believe a, a week or two ago. These are their pictures in front of the uh, skyscrapers of London. Um, so... I don't know if they knew. Uh, well, I guess they did know. It's just right now they're showcasing and presenting this car in, in London after the Geneva Auto Show. So uh, just thought that was a very interesting. Uh, all right. So uh, let's talk about some positives and negatives. And there are some negatives, unfortunately. So uh, let's get uh, right to it. So uh, number one is obviously this is going to be encouraging not only people in London and in the UK, but a lot of other uh, cities will follow. Um, you know, the, 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 the Chinese cities have already implemented quite a strict policies as well, and they will be uh, following something very similar. Uh, I believe New York and hopefully LA will follow um, all of this. And, you know, this is one of those things where, you know how we all believe, and it's true, and we, we all know, I should say, not believe, the Tesla pretty much dragged all of us, you know, kicking and screaming, um, a lot of manufacturers and companies and people into electric car future. Well, but the government is also important. You know, the governments have really big interest uh, in, in, in protecting their citizens and their health and so forth. And all of us and our children, right, uh, uh, are very much interested in this. And, and so this is the other part, right? This is the government part. Tesla is a private capitalist part of this but this is another part that's going to be moving um, us into the future uh, because a lot of people uh, you know uh, say well you know if it wasn't for tesla we would never make it uh, we would just not as fast and not as awesome but this is this is the kind of stuff that that uh, would keep us there however there are a couple of negatives to think about it uh, you know don't forget that um, uh, people who are not that well off they a lot of times drive older cars uh, that will have to pay fines. So a lot of people argue that, wait a second, you know, like people who are poor essentially will be punished for being poor because they can't afford the car uh, that would uh, meet those standards. So that's number one. Also small businesses, right? Small businesses, a lot of times they're small businesses that don't have that much money. If they have this diesel truck or diesel delivery van that they've been using to, you know, get goods and, uh, to, to their stores and back, um, now they're kind of stuck paying a fine, which is going to damage their profits. And, you know, a lot of times the margins are very small. Um, so this is something they're going to have to figure out. Um, obviously, if you're doing business in central London, you know, you kind of live in kind of a, a by more strict sort of regulations and laws. And you know that. But nevertheless, this is a concern. And I hope they address this because, you know, that wouldn't be fair, I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section uh, if this is something that you guys um should be given more thought or we kind of good to go and 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 this is definitely something that uh, that should just start happening everywhere. Uh, by the way, don't forget to join our VIP list. This is a, our a weekly newsletter. We'll be sending you exclusive content, offers, news, and so forth, stuff that we don't cover or offer on this channel or on uh, the website. And I also want to give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Elias, Elias Antonia. Thank you so much for becoming one of my Patreons. Thank you to all of you guys for supporting uh, uh, and contributing to my independent channel. If you want to join my Patreon community, go to patreon.com slash e for electric there's also a link for that in the description of this video all right guys let me know what you think other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged